Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Hmm. Hello, Harry John. How are you? Hope you are doing well with family. Hi, Mary Lou. How are you, sweetie? You are looking amazing, girl. Ah, so how is life? How is everything? Mm. Um, today is Cinco de Mayo. I know if we were not all placed in here, so many will be going out celebrating and especially our Hispanic culture uh, with their traditions um, and so many that use this time to have a great day and celebrate Cinco de Mayo, which has uh, become a big uh, traditional thing. And for those of you who are having a hard time with uh, being stuck at home, I want to say that apparently so many restaurants are going to start opening. There is this phase one. But I have been talking to a lot of people that have been feeling overwhelmed, overwhelmed and exhausted, anxious, everything. So I wanted to feel, get a feel of where you are, where you stand. How are you doing emotionally? How are you doing physically? And even most importantly, mentally, how are you coping with it? And Mary Lou says life is, oh, Mary Lou says life is wonderful. Sweet, life is wonderful. Yes, life is wonderful for so many. And that brought me to thinking about what is it that we are constantly striving for? Um, there's so many who are like, open the doors, let me get out of here. I want to get out. I can no longer stay in here. I am done. Well, there's two sides to it. One is because no matter what happens, there is no normal. I have to run, just wanted to see your face. The governor just went live talking about reopening. That's true, Governor Newsom, for those of you who are in California. And I think uh, every different place is gonna do in different phases. And today's topic is going to be this exact thing. Once it opens, once we have permission to go, are we all gonna run out and escape? out of our home because no matter what we feel this entire thing is just like for those who go to monastery monastery or they go into an ashram they go to india or africa or even a silent retreat is for them to find this inner peace but because we have been forced into this inner uh, sanctuary, not because we wanted to go, there is this overwhelm of uh, feeling I've been told what to do. And that in itself is difficult for so many. Now, when we are doing something and finding that inner peace, is the most difficult thing that there is. And so many start something, but will not finish. And I don't know if you may be one of those or not. And we want to talk about self-sabotage. And why is it that we go into a self-sabotage? We start a project, we never finish it. We want to do something, we never complete it. Uh, and by doing this is we are stuck in the same place. Why am I talking about that? Because 
one person can turn around and say, no matter what I do, I cannot, I can't seem to lose the weight. No matter what I do, I can't seem to sleep long, longer than four hours. So there is patterns that we have created and recognizing those patterns is the most important thing. So we can do a program, we can start something. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Giselle. We are talking about how some of us do uh, start a pattern, but we cannot complete a pattern. And why is it that we go into self-sabotage, even relationships? So no matter where we go, no matter what we fix, even uh, Ford, uh, Betty Ford was talking about it. You know, there is this place that they go for a retreat, for um, becoming better uh, drug and alcohol rehab. And she was talking about the same thing. No matter what cycle and pattern someone has been in, the self-sabotage is the innate core belief that I do not deserve either the health or the wellness and everything. And they can say a lot of things. And I don't know if you've ever experienced self-sabotage. And it could be for a project. It could be for a relationship. No matter what happens is why do we fall into that pattern? Well, First and foremost is recognizing that self-sabotage can be something like self-preservation, self-protection. Because there is nothing that we do, if even if it is in the negative, it is still there to protect ourselves. Now, you may say, um, I deliver everything, I do everything, I, when I set my mind, I go, I'm a high achiever and I get it. That's fine. But there are thousands of different reasons, different ways that we self-sabotage. It could be habits and patterns. So, let's talk about that. What I am mentioning I am back. I'm back. So sorry. I pushed my finger on the wrong place. I was going to scroll and see who's saying what. And of course, <laughs> um, there we go again. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Rita John. Hi, Harry. Uh, we're back. I was scrolling to see what is it that uh, the message so I can respond. And of course, my finger, I, uh, I ended that one. We are back. Again, what we are talking about is um, the deepest reservoir, touching deep within ourselves and recognizing how we can shift our patterns. And if there is any experience within yourself, the best way to do is find that silence within. And to shift the patterns and recognizing that no matter what we do, if there is any self-doubt within us, if there is anything, you deserve better. You deserve the most amazing life. You des That's what I said. If you have gotten to four for interviews that means the skills are there the personality is there the the mindset is there everything is there and we sometimes don't believe that we have the gift we we undermine our expertise we undermine the passion we undermine our gifts and that is the worst thing that we can do so Hypnosis and hypnotherapy is the one of one of the best tools. And we can use NLP, we can use tapping, we can use meditation, we can use anything that there is. Today, I come as an advocate about hypnotherapy because that's how I healed myself and got into this field. 
I speak at places, I speak in groups, I've spoken at stages. Because of this incredible tool, mechanism, uh, technique, but it doesn't matter what technique you use, is to find means to overcome your own self-doubt. So when they ask me, what is it that you do? I am here to help individuals eradicate self-doubt and self-sabotage, overcome trauma and past pains. And that is my specialty. And the techniques I use is hypnosis. Why? Because I believe in the core of every single one of us, we start with love. We have a gift. We are light. And throughout the years, because of the things that happen to us, we become numb, we become eroded, we pack on a lot of stuff just to safeguard ourselves. Hello, Julius. Hello, Rosa, John. How are you? So good to have you all here. You're more interesting than the governor. <laughs> Mary Lou. Oh my God, I can't wait to get together with you. We are supposed to do a video together, you know, in two weeks. Maybe that's what we are supposed to do because Nowadays, I'm even ordering so many things online. So I came back. Thank you very much for coming back. Why? Because everything that is happening around us, we can take it in two ways. We can either show up and stand up, or we can put our head down and become a martyr, become a victim. There are so many businesses that is happening online and we can educate we can empower we can do a lot of things and that's what i'm doing my heel talk tuesdays are not new i have been live for the last three years but more so than ever when someone says i am overwhelmed and exhausted i can't handle this anymore i say find a quiet place and become one with yourself so when someone is telling me I have to go and do my yoga and meditation, why is it that we cannot do our yoga and meditation in our home? Why do we have to go out? So is the going out and doing the meditation for yourself or do you have to be with others? And those are the questions we have to do and ask of ourselves. And Mary Lou says, yes, we can do our interview. If you want to do Saturday, 7 p.m., we have a date. I took a break from my own self-care and just started again with interviews last Saturday. As a matter of fact, I just uh, ordered my professional microphone because I'm going to start my live interviews. And it's going to be interviews uh, that I bring other experts instead of doing my real talk in person, we're going to go live and start this entire thing at the end of this week. Actually, next week we start because the microphone is shipped. So hello, Nora John. How are you? So good to have another professional right here. Uh, thank you for all of you being present. We are talking about self-sabotage and how we self-harm by doing the things that has been a pattern, not understanding our patterns and how we can shift them. So today I'll give you three tools. First, recognize your pattern. It's recognizing what is it that you keep saying that it is a sabotage and what is it that you don't like about yourself or the habits and behaviors. Not, it's not about who you are, but what you do, what you say, and how you act. Number two, once you recognize it, is start writing and see how long have you had 
that same cycle, that same pattern going on. Did it start a month ago? Did it start a year ago? Did it start five years ago? And please do not say always because we were not born with our patterns and everything. So I work with children from six, seven years over. Why? Because the first seven years of our existence, we're just like sponges. We take information in. That our parents our environment, our household, our school, everything, even the media, especially nowadays when parents give that iPad or the phone to children, they have this means their education system. So this is a pattern. Children learning from the phone system, from the iPad, from the cartoons, instead of the parents, the teachers, the grand, grand, great grandparents, or even grandparents, the school system, everything. So for seven years, we're like sponges. We take information and whatever it's said in here, they take the same information. And I remember growing up, our cartoons were Felix the Cat, the wonderful, wonderful cat, the hackle and jackal, the birds. And so there was few cartoons that there were. They don't have Felix the cat cartoons anymore. But every cartoon that I have seen for children is so much uh, fight, it's destruction. And those destructions are feeding the children's mind, their psyche. And I don't know if you have children or not, maybe grandchildren. So recognize the patterns that are being established for your children. When kids are brought here, the parents bring their children because of anxiety, because of insomniac. And then they are told that they have ADD or ADHD. I ask them, when I do it just a little bit of hypnosis or guided visualization. But better than that, I say, let's do a quiet time. 10 minutes of quiet time, they're in. They're in the zone within three minutes. And they won't come out for 20 minutes, 21 minutes, 30 minutes, they're in that beautiful place of self-hypnosis. And I say this beautiful imaginary stuff of them being in a castle and walking up and down castles. You see, our mind is so beautiful and intricate that can imagine just about anything once it's feed our imagination our love, our light. And in the castle, there is the prince and the princess, but there is so many magical things. You can even find a beautiful ocean right behind the magical castle that the fish are going up and down and they can swim with the fish. You see, we as adults are the same. So when I talk about self-doubt and self sabotage is because we have lost track of our imagination and we have become so numb to media and everything else. But one of the worst things that happens is our own negative thoughts to ourselves. So self-hypnosis is the means and I'll be more than happy to help you, guide you, facilitate for you to tap within yourself. To unravel and undo patterns that are no longer worthy of you. Or where you want to go. Your success, your better relationships, healthy relationships, your body image anything that you want, anything that we want is possible. 
one of my biggest mentors, and I call him a kid, and this kid is amazing. Why? Because Manny Lopez, coming from being an orphan to CEO, he is making headlines in changing lives of other orphans. Today, the media announced that it is Giving Tuesday. So my assistant asked me, are we going to do Giving Tuesdays for our nonprofit organization for the motherless children? And I said no, because Giving Tuesday is usually around Thanksgiving. There is so many of us, I included because I, my business also got hit with this COVID-19 thing and not having clients coming in here. But what is it that we turned it into? Doing a Skype, doing Zoom, bringing more community together so we can empower one another. And I said no for one reason. Because if we are having a hard time, this is not the time to give. There is families I rather help. And I'm not saying the motherless children are not worthy, but we've got enough to take care of them. And for those who want to give, I've got about two or three families that are feeling overwhelmed. Moms who are single mother, and they need to have their children taken care of. They can't afford to go to work because they can't afford to have a babysitter at home. So that's where they are. They're, fa they're feeling anxious, they're feeling overwhelmed, they're feeling depressed, they're feeling a lot of things. And that those are the ones that I want to help. And I think every one of us can, uh, can relate to this. Now, I wanna go back to the self-sabotage and everything. And I asked her, what patterns do you recognize that has put you where you are today? The pattern is not because you are here, but the pattern that you did not voice and say, after so many years, I deserve a raise. So if they're not letting you go because you are one of the best workers, when was the last time you asked for a raise? When was the last time you stood up for yourself and said, this situation cannot happen again? And she said, but they won't give it to me. That's because you haven't asked. So if you have not voiced, if you do not stand up for yourself, if you do not believe in yourself, if you are doing the self-sabotage pattern of believing and thinking it cannot happen, let me say this. No, it won't happen. So in a way, yes. I am the biggest cheerleader for my clients. I am the biggest cheerleader for them to stand up and say, I matter. So pattern, recognize your patterns. Recognize that there is a flaw or a dis missing link. Number two, check back and see what patterns can you change to empower yourself. Number three, stand up for yourself. Speak up. The worst is yes, they will say that. But if you don't ask for it, if you don't voice it, if you don't stand up for yourself, no one is going to hand it to you. No one. So let me see what... Mm. Do you resonate with this? I like meditating in community. I like it better in a group. I feel more energy tingles. Robert Wow. Hi, Robert. Hi, Rima. Uh, recognize the patterns journal progression of those patterns. Wonderful. 
I love Felix the cat. So do I. Um, that's what I do. I'm just like Felix the cat. I've gotten so many certifications. It doesn't matter. If I am not in sync with my clients, if my clients are not getting the best benefit, then I haven't done my job. And I truly believe in hypnosis and hypnotherapy. Everything I do is become a big, huge advocate in this form. Why? Because that's how I healed and I've helped so many others transform. And if you would like to experience the same and change, modify, and transform, by all means, transformation begins within you when you say, I'm ready. And I'll be more than happy to help. Um, hi, Barb. How are you? Mr. Bob Carley is right here, waving. Hello, Karin John. I don't understand either so many asking for donations right now when people are not being paid. Exactly. I'm not here to make it worse. Hi, Emil. How are you? I can donate a little to single mom in need. You know what? I'm doing the same thing. We have a lot. And if you want to help, and I don't know who you are, it doesn't matter. Help me help her and so many. And that's from your graciousness. But one thing we can do is find the means to help not only this one, but there are so many that are at home feeling overwhelmed, over anxious, but we need to help them see different ways for them to become successful. And for that, I thank you for being here. I thank you for reconnecting and showing up since I disconnected the first time um, for being here. You are the gift and remember that there is nothing more important than you having a better loving voice, a kinder you towards you, towards your body, towards your wellness so that we can in turn help others. So until next week, have an in beautiful and an incredible Tuesday. Celebrate your life. Celebrate Cinco de Mayo. And celebrate this incredible Mother Earth that we live on every day with gratitude. God bless you and may the universal light surround you.